Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Good afternoon, yes. Yes. Wonderful. I see Nate and Jim and others. We will give everybody another minute before getting started in case we have any late individuals joining us. Uh, Nate, will you be sharing your screen? I just noticed that I do not have the ability to share my screen in this setting. Yeah, I can share it. That's fine. Wonderful. OK, I see attendees have increased to 19. Just a few more seconds, and we will get started. OK, great. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for taking some time and joining us in our first of three information session and POA meet and greet uh, to introduce our new campus print and copy program for the University of Utah. My name is Snow Arkowski. I'm with Huron Consulting Group, and I have been working with the University Auxiliary Services and PrintML team uh, for the better part of about a year now, uh, from the beginning to better understand what is the existing program, any pain points, what are end users' needs, through helping design the new Future State program, the RFP process, and taking us to today, where we're so excited to be rolling out this new program to you all. Nate, if we move to the next slide, we will go over quickly the agenda for our 30 minutes together today. We will do a quick introduction of both the Utah team as well as the POA team instrumental in bringing this program to you all and the ongoing uh, transition and the future state maintenance of the program. We're going to go over overview of what is the new campus print and copy program or Reprint 2.0 and what are the key benefits. Before then, handing it over to the POA team, Utah's new strategic service partner, to get a chance to introduce themselves and tell you a little bit more about how they will bring to you enhanced services and leading practice to the copy and print space. We're going to close our session today with what is coming up next? Any key dates to be mindful of and any actions that you will be needing to take in the coming weeks or even days, as well as any questions you may have. So I will hand this over to the Utah team to do a quick introduction. I see Jen, I will start with you. Hi, everybody. My name is Jen Reed. I'm the Associate Vice President for Auxiliary Services. Thanks for being here today. Colin? Hi, my name is Colin Simmons. I'm an Executive Director in Auxiliary Services and also excited to be here. And uh, thank you for coming. Nate? Hi, I'm Nate Virgin. I'm the Director of University Print Mail Services. And Jim? Oh, you're on mute, Jim. Nice. <laughs> Jim is <laughs> Director of IT for Auxiliary Services. Did I miss anyone on the Utah team? I think we get all, got everybody. Now the POA team, Dave? Yep, me, Jeff, and Aaron here. Sorry, we're a few minutes behind. We are on the wrong team's meeting. <laughs> <laughs> we are on now. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Would you like to do a quick introduction before we move over to the, the program overview? Okay, two seconds. It's not letting us share our camera, let me see. 
we will we will work on the camera functionality. But if you can just quickly introduce yourself, oh, I think now you might be able to. Oh, that's that's okay. We'll we'll start with introductions and oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, hi. Um, thanks, everybody. I am David White. I'm a field sales manager here at Pacific Office in the Salt Lake office. Um, and it will be the main kind of contact and liaison with the University of Utah account um, and always available. And we'll be working with, uh, our, I'll pass that on to our service manager here, local Aaron Carbonari. Hello, my name is Aaron Carbonari. I manage the service department here locally in Utah. Um, I will oversee the technicians, the uh, the logistics with deliveries, scheduling, um, repairs, parts, uh, kind of everything to do with the service site of the house. Um, and I'm, again, local, uh, available, you know, I've come out on campus and plan in the future um, and can be kind of an escalation channel as well, uh, you know, along with David, um, you know, for supporting the university and, and the machines, um, you know, that we're going to be maintaining. Yep. And then um, my name is Jeff, uh, government account manager. I'm going to be kind of in the background helping to support Dave and sometimes going to be on site and kind of go through information and updates and just be another resource for the for Dave and the university. Thank you all so much. So moving on with our agenda, Nate, if you would move to the following slide. So first, we would like to provide you once again a little bit of the background. As many of you may know that RepPrint or MPS have been managed in-house for a number of years now, and we have certainly understand that there has been user frustration and some lack of functionalities within the program. So what we have done, the Utah Auxiliary Services have now partnered with Pacific Office Automation or POA to provide enhanced printing and copy services to our campus community in this new program. As mentioned before, we have already solicited feedback from various campus departments and colleges during 2023 to really better understand what are the needs and requirements of our printing end users on campus? And the feedback that we have received have been incorporated into design of the future state of this program, as well as setting them up as a requirement of the RP process, the competitive and comprehensive procurement process that we went through in collaboration with key program stakeholders, such as UIT, various departments and colleges, libraries, and UCARD, after which POA was awarded the contract. Now, it is very important to note that starting Monday, next Monday, July 1st, the new an efficient and user-friendly program will be replacing the existing MPS or reference services. And print and mail services will then manage the new relationship with POA to ensure a smooth transition and satisfactory user experience. Right. So to repeat that, the MPS and reference services, as we all know for the past many years, will be going away and will be replaced entirely by this new program we're introducing to you all. So what are some of the key benefits of this program? On this slide, if we go to the next slide, Nate, um, for everybody's awareness, the key benefit of this new campus print and copy program um, are numerous. To highlight a few, include high quality devices. Campus users will now have access to a new standard suite of Utah printers and multifunction devices that's been tailored to meet majority of campus needs. You have flex flexible options. You may choose to either purchase or lease one of the 17 standard models of black and white and copy printer and multifunction devices based on your departmental needs, right? When it comes to printing and copying. You have a personalized equipment, equipment selection process that is gonna be guided by POA, right? To ensure that you're getting the right equipment to meet your needs, especially after the print volume hopefully have settled 
since the pandemic, since the COVID pandemic. We're also bringing to you competitive pricing. You benefit from the cost effective pricing for equipment as well as maintenance services as a result of the RP that will be billed based on actual usage, right? So it's whatever you print, you will pay, and there are no minimums involved. And the actual usage maintenance will include toner, parts, maintenance and repair services. It does not include paper or staples. Those are additional costs responsible responsibility of the department. You will also enjoy more reliable performances with an uptime, a fleet uptime of 98% uh, guaranteed by the POA team. The POA team will also be providing exceptional customer services, uh, and they will be your easy to reach one stop support needs via phone, email, or web portal for all your questions, service needs with a 30 minute call by guarantee. And you also enjoy simplified centralized departmental billing with easy access to uCash and print dollars using your uCard and mobile credential on the devices. And of course, this new program will have a seamless transition and overall hassle-free program participation to name just a few of the highlight of the key program component and the benefit. So now I would love to hand it over to the POA team to talk a little bit more about, about your company background, your commitment to service, and the new program you'll be bringing to the Utah end users. Yeah, hi, thanks. And, um, you know, as you can see on the screen there, just in this room, you know, we have a lot of tenure. Um, and then as a company, you know, we're the largest independent dealer in the nation. So very familiar with especially the educational vertical market um, locally and, you know, nationally. Um, and so really looking forward to diving in and getting to know each department, finding out what their needs are, where they'd like to improve and really right sizing in the right areas. And also, obviously, providing, you know, very efficient and quick local service. Um, all our parts and everything are handled here locally in our warehouse. Um, and we do, I'll let our service manager talk about a little bit more, but do have a dedicated service team that will be, you know, mainly focused on the university. Um, and, uh, yeah, we speak more on service side of things. So we've got local technicians uh, here in Salt Lake. Um, one of which we have dedicated to the university, but it extends further to his teammates who can also uh, service and maintain the machines and the, the fleet that uh, you have on campus. Uh, here at our branch, we also have a distribution center um, with both equipment, uh, supplies, and parts. So we have local access to, you know, to solving or helping to solve the issues that you have, whether it be an emergency toner, um, possibly machines that need to get out, uh, you know, in an expedited fashion, um, you know, or parts that they're ordering. Um, we stock parts for all the current models, um, as well as we will have a, an on-site um, depot or, or stockpile of parts uh, with items specific to the makes and models on campus there. So um, really running back to the office of the warehouse is kind of more of a last resort, and we should be able to source everything from our stockpile on campus there. Um, stickers, we have uh, stickers. In fact, my, my technician is out on site uh, stickering machines. So some of you may have already seen or, or run into them in the last couple of days, uh, but there'll be a, a phone number uh, as a means to initiate a service call or toner order, uh, as well as an email address uh, and then a QR code um, that will link you to a job form to fill out your information if that's uh, you know, a method or a route that you want to take to place service calls, order toners, et cetera. So I might forget anything. And, you know, I think another benefit that, um, you know, for the university outside of just the increased service capacity, the devices and everything else we talked about is really going to be um, David and our team as a resource to help analyze your specific print environment. So we'll be able to meet with your individual departments, understand your needs, 
meet with key users, figure out what the best solution is moving forward. If you're looking to replace machines, consolidate machines, really just getting a better understanding of what your environment is and how POA can bring our solutions to the table. So it's not necessarily just a service contract. It's not necessarily just a billing. It's really how do we take a holistic approach to your environment so that you're getting the best um, best options, best, uh, most cost-effective and reliable solutions uh, that we can offer, taking into account everything that's going on in your university, as well as uh, bringing in our knowledge from other higher education to help improve what's going on for your team out there and understanding that everyone's a little bit unique in what your approach is and each, each individual department's gonna have your own need, but we're gonna be able to listen, analyze and provide a specific solution for your offices. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not sure if there's anything else we have to add to that. I I don't know if the next slide kind of gives you a little background on our um, organization, at least. I'm not sure if everyone's familiar with Pacific Office Automation. Uh, we've been around for a little over 40 years, focused on the uh, print space and then expanded to software, uh, telephony, other solutions, but have all started within that realm of the print world. Uh, we've been in the Salt Lake area for now over 15 years, mm -hmm. I believe, um, so. and have expanded and, as Dave mentioned, become the largest independent dealer for office solutions in the nation. So we have access to uh, anything that has to do with the print software environment, as well as resources provided by our manufacturers to help make sure we're doing our best uh, to meet the needs of all of our clients. So you have all of our resources that we have. As we're the largest customer of our manufacturer, that gives us a lot of leverage to help make sure we're taking care of uh, all the issues that come up within your organization as well as others and uh, kind of differentiates us from a lot of other organizations in that we're not tied into one specific product. We research and find the best solution for the needs. And I think that kind of went along with this transition as well as we transition to a new software program from where it is today to um, a new environment. And while we're working through IT with that, I think it'll be a big improvement and reliability and simplicity and maybe more of an adoption of that software moving forward uh, and be happy to answer questions regarding what that would look like if there are any questions now or if we meet independently what those benefits could be if the team were decided to increase uh, the usage of that print tracking print management secure print type solution that's not as widely utilized today. Um, I believe that's all we have to add on the POA side of things. I'm not sure if there are snow. I don't know if there's a Q&A now or what that next step might be. Yeah, thank you so much, the POA team. We will reserve all questions and answer to the end of this session. And please also know that if you have any questions, feel free to submit them via the chat function, and we will make sure to address them at the end of the session. So what is next for you all, the campus end users? Some key dates and actions to note. As mentioned before and reiterating again, come July 1st, so next Monday, all services on existing MPS and reprint devices will be transitioned over to POA, regardless of who was providing you services on your machine prior or currently. Essentially, though, what you need to do is nothing if you do not need a new equipment, right? The service transition will be taking place in the background and seamlessly. So if you do not need a new equipment, there is nothing for you to do. You will continue to use your existing machine for print, copy, none of the functionalities will have changed. If you do have print anywhere function right now via Uniflow, that will not change immediately. As the POA team have just referenced that in the back, uh, University Auxiliary IT and the POA team is working on bringing online paper cut, which will eventually replace Uniflow and offer more functionality and a more user-friendly experience interacting with the solution. And we will keep you posted regarding the rollout of that new managed print software solution. You will also, uh, as POA team mentioned, that your machine should have either already been stickered with a new sticker, 
showing the POA contact information, or it will soon get a new sticker. And come July 1st, if you have any questions, if you need any repair services, you can call, email, or scan the QR code that is on that new sticker on your device and reach POA uh, for, for all your need. Again, they will be your one-stop shop for all your questions and inquiries. So there is no need for you to, you know, call Jamie or call UIT or call, call really anyone else, right? Your first and one-stop engagement for all your needs and services will be to POA, who will then behind the scene triage and reach out to any IT resources, UIT for network issues, et cetera, to resolve your issue. If you do need a new equipment, there will be a new equipment request form that we will be making available to you all via the reprint website or the new reprint website uh, the week of July 8th, fully understanding that next week is a holiday week and many on campus will be taking vacations. So the equipment request form will be live come Monday, the following Monday, July 8th. And should you need a brand new equipment or a replacement for your already end of life machine, you will simply complete the request form and print and mail services and POA, we will reach out to you for a quick equipment needs assessment conversation. Before then, we help you select a standard machine, any necessary accessories that goes along with that before equipment order placement, scheduling for installation, and the removal of your existing old device. And here we have that sticker or an image of that sticker that you should soon, or if not already seeing on your existing reprint or MPS device. And please also know that it should have an associated equipment ID number, which you will need to reference when reaching out to POA. Talking a little bit more about the hassle-free centralized billing, as mentioned before, all billing will be handled centrally, meaning you will not be receiving individual invoices that you will need to worry about paying, right? All billing will be handled by print and mail and departments will be allocated or the cost will be hitting your budget via the voucher transfer by the char fields that you have provided to print and mail services. The billing will take place on a monthly basis and it's gonna include your actual usage maintenance and repair costs. Meaning if you printed 50 pages this month, you'll be charged 50 pages. If you printed 500 pages, you'll be charged 500 pages or nothing if you didn't print or produce anything. And the centralized building will also include the equipment lease if that is the option you choose to take for your equipment, right? Or if you purchase the device, then you will not have a monthly equipment charge. I do see there has been a couple of questions in the chat. And Jim, I see that you have already answered the question related to, you know, if we need to reconnect user devices to the printer, uh, will it be, will it use the same connection until the paper cup roll out? And Jim, I think you answered that. Yes, paper cup will be using the same HID card readers that are in use now. And I hope that answers the question. Any other questions, anybody? Anything else you wish to add, Jim? Okay, Ian, I see you have another question related to you. From the computer perspective, will we need to read the printers to the faculty, staff, and student computers? Uh, Jim, feel free to jump in, but I do believe yeah. if it is, yeah, if it's an existing machine. <clears throat> if it's an existing uniform machine, then yes, we'll need to, we will need to re-add those 
uh, that link when the new queue is created in Papercut, but that will be when we onboard your department. Yep. Meaning right away come July 1st, there is no action and we will yep. keep everybody apprised of when the paper cut will be rolled out and that step is necessary. Yep. And Tiffany, I see that you have a question related to the timeline for billing. Is it a next month or a delayed billing? So it is going to be a one month in arrears. All billing will be charged based on the calendar months. So for example, so your July print uh, charges will encompass the full calendar month of July and your August invoice will include uh, or, or charge back will include the full month of August. So the timing will be that what you printed in July will hit your budget via the journal transfer um, and be reflected in the beginning of September. So there is that one month lag and your August printing will be reflected then in your budget come the beginning of October. I see another question from Jared related to, will we be able to have custom cues from our different copiers and office printers? Jim, will you or anyone on the POA team be able to take this question from Jared? Uh, for clarification, do you currently use any custom cues or just say, um, just because I, I know Papercut can definitely support that functionality. Um, I'm just curious if that's currently a function you're using in Uniflow. Yeah, so uh, certainly with the red print, um, if you're using a custom queue right now, that can that can be copied over. We would just need the use case, but Papercut does allow custom queues. Uh, POA team, you can correct me if I'm wrong there. No, that that's accurate. Yeah. Any other question as related to either the immediate logistics, what is happening next? as well as ordering of the new equipment. Snow, um, Don Ashman had a question in the Q&A. Okay, let's see. I just saw that question pop up. See, if a department does not use rep print services, can they keep a managed print contract with the current vendor they use? Um, right now, and Don maybe, if you are able to explain a little bit. So you right now have a separate maintenance contract with a different vendor that is outside of managed print services? Yes, um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yes, I'm with the Marriott Library and we currently, because of our large fleet and um, historical uh, issues, we currently have a separate managed print contract with a vendor, a local vendor. And so I'm wondering if it's mandatory that we have to go to uh, this red print service or can we, we have, I think, possibly some special issues that other departments don't have because of our size and what we require from vendors or from a vendor. So historically it hasn't been a good fit for us to go with red uh, with red print and that's what we're wondering if we yes. have the option to still continue uh it takes quite a bit of time to change over the library if we do change uh i'm just worried about what our options can be snow i can take that one yeah Thank, thanks don for your question and i've talked to dean shreves a little bit um ab about this um rfp process and what our intention was when we when we determined to outsource the the self-operated managed print services department um there there are multiple departments on campus that were not utilizing managed print services um just like the marriott library and there's no policy right now that departments are required to use this new campus contract. 
Um, but I think what we will do is over the next year, be reaching out to you and other departments that have um, had, had great reasons not to use managed print to see if there, there is a way um, uh, to, to, to make this contract work for your needs. Ideally, what our students are going to be experiencing on campus is a unified is is a unified student print service a, a, across campus. Um, and I think that's going to create the best experience for the students. But right now, you are not compelled to use this new contract. But we appreciate you coming um, here today to hear about it, and we'll be we'll be in touch over the next few months to talk about um, any potential transition if we choose to go that way. That sounds great because it, it just takes us a little bit longer. Oh yeah, oh to yeah. Get us like we're like the Titanic and moving slowly, so yes, we're open 100%. to options as long as it does meet the needs of our students and our patrons yeah. in the library, um, which are again a little more unique. So that yeah. sounds great. Thank you. Okay, we're great. we're willing will... to explore possibilities. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I will also add that you know we have engaged the Marriott Library extensively during the initial assessment as well as throughout the RP process to make sure that the library's needs and requirements are met and that POA in their proposal have demonstrated that they're able to service the library equipment as well. And per Jen's comment that, you know, this certainly is not an expectations where right away the Marriott Library is expected to transition all of your services on the, on the machines. Just know that in selection of POA as the new a strategic service provider for Utah, that they are fully capable of providing uh, an exceptional level of service that will meet your need, right? Should that, should that time come? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else, any questions? Well, thank you all so much for taking some time to spend with us to meet the POA team and learn about the uh, the new Reprint 2.0 uh, campus-wide print and copy program. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any other questions. Uh, have a great rest of the day, and I do believe this session will be made available as a recording as well, should you or a fellow colleague need to reference it. Thank you all again and have a great rest of the day and take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate everybody's time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.